that is taking care of me has to put oxytocin in the drip that almost take away my life and that of the baby. I never believe I will be alive today to testify the goodness of God. But God who did this for me, if I did not testify to him, that is to say I am an, an ungrateful fellow. So I said, may all glory and honor return to him. And to you, my sisters there, who is expecting God for one problem, for one uh, solution or the other, I said to you, don't give up. The God is in the miracle uh, kitchen preparing your miracle. And when it will come, it will be double like mine in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The next one. The next testifier is a young girl, nine years old, Moses Peace from Oka region. She had enuresis, that is bedwetting since birth. She's here to give a testimony. I thank God for I thank God for what He has done in my life. My name is Moses Peace. I am from Oka region. My I am nine years old. I have I am but waiting from childhood. But when we came to Babakumi program, GCK who said Loba who said with Kumi. I when Pastor Kumi said we should put our hand wherever the pain, I put my hand in my abnormal. And after praying, the second day I don't persuade again. Praise the Lord! You will do your own. Mm-hmm. More testimony tonight. The next testifier is Sister Deemi from Ondo region and is here to testify of divine healing from dysfunctional uterine bleeding. Listening to her testimony. Praise the Lord. I thank God for my life since getting to a month now. I'm be seeing blood, but when I come here on uh, Friday, the Lord healed me. And since then, I never, I, I, I never see anything like that. Praise the Lord. And I, I want to tell you that your miracle is the year, and you will receive your own in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let's hear the orchestra. The next testifier is Mrs. Ibukunle Abiodun from Ore region. The greatest of all testimony, the restoration from backsliding, listening to her testimony. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise Master Jesus! Hallelujah. Mo wa lati ore region force mo fe mo yin oluwa logo ohun ti oluwa se ninu aye mi tori pe mu ti ni isubu ti emi pupo su to je pe ti eyan ba ri mi ko se ni to ma nti bi mo se ri but olorun mo pe ti mo emi ko mo pe ti mo ba ku emi o le ri orun wo but mo yin oluwa logo oluwa ba okan mi pade mo ri igbara eru to wa lori mi fuye inu mi dun ni wakati ti Olorun bo kan mi pade to mo ni irora kan ni apa mi mo fi lo awon sister wa mo lo Olorun ba mi yanju re ni kete ti mo gba ti Olorun bo kan mi pade ti ayo mi ku ti e rori mi fuya inu mi tu mo korin 
mo be sin jo mo njo ka o mo mi bi mle pe mo mi ki lo sele mo nu mi dun pe oluwa tu mi ku ni kuro ninu ide ide ti mo wa si o se ni ke ni to ma fe mi ati olorun mi e bi to wu ni apa mi o si lo sile nigba to di ana mo pe sister wa mo ni apa mi to wu ti le fowo kan o ma ti lo sile mo ma ri yanu pa ninu program yi enyo oluwa loko multiple blessing praise the lord the lord will do your own and we want you also to come out and share the testimony before we listen to the last testimony let's listen to this announcement all region overseers and group pastors you are to report in front of the podium here immediately after the program tonight just come to the front or the podium here, or group pastors, or region overseers. Let's listen to the last testimony. Online. Let's listen to online testimony. More testimonies online. Solomon from YouTube is praising Jesus for restoration, having backslidden and gone into adultery. Also, having also pains, but he has been restored and completely made whole. Yes, indeed. A story of restoration is such a wonderful one. We have this one on your screen. You will see the picture of that lady, Peace Ade Gahi, from Nasarawa State, Nigeria. She's testifying of how God healed her. She had breast lump, lump on one of her breasts since 2000, 2021. She went for scan and um, she was told that she would have to undergo an operation to get it removed. But of course, her parents couldn't afford it. And um, her dad told her that since the crusade is going on, she needed to connect and believe that the Lord will heal her. And true to her faith, as the prayer of the man of God was going on, according to the writing, she laid her hand right there where the lump was. And miraculously, after the prayers, she excused herself to go and check. She was surprised. She just could not believe it. Lo and behold, the lump is gone. And now she has received a perfect healing. We'll bring you this one also from uh, the social media. This one is coming from Mrs. Akinleye Esther. Actually, she was just a passerby and she was encouraged to attend the crusade where she was passing through. And as she attended, while the prayer was on, according to her, when the man of God asked that you should lay hands where problems were, she laid her hand on her head where she has got the trouble. And just after that, she felt an object left her body and now. The troubling in her head, the migraine, and everything is gone. And now she is completely whole. From she's 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 from from I have been suffering from ulcer for the past seven years. Yesterday, as the man of God said we should lay our hands where we have the problem, I obeyed, and after the prayer, the last amen, I checked, and I could no longer feel the pain. Praise the Lord. Indeed, great things God is doing. This is coming from Trinidad, Trinidad, and um, this is Ashley Hernandez, who wrote in, says that she's been suffering from excruciating menstrual cramps according to her whenever she has a monthly period it's been painful but after the prayer of the man of god while the triumphant park crusade was going on on friday according to her she received that healing and the pain instantly ceased and since then up till now she's free she no longer experiences those pains anymore we still have so much more online here but for now Okay, we want to go to Abuja. Abuja, 
Federal Capital Territory, Nigeria, for a live testimony. Abuja, coming up on your screen now. So, standing before me this evening is a brother who, by the grace of God, gave his life to Christ this evening, and uh, he has been having challenges. He has pride that has been disturbing him, and other strange voices that he been hearing. But tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, he got his miracle. Brother, tell him the story. Praise the Lord. Praise my Master Jesus. Brethren, my name is Ezekiel Moses. I'm from Okaibo, state of Nigeria. I'm very happy to be in the, in the midst of the brethren of God this evening. It happens that I come in contact with a man this afternoon where I went to take my lunch. So it happens we came to know ourselves and we started discussing along the line along the line so i just uh, something something compelled me to disclose my problem to the man so i now tell the man i'm i'm sick i'm not okay so the man the man said if that's the case there's a pro there's a program in deeper life church there's the man said there is an ongoing program in Deeper Life Church. If you can be there, I think your problem will be solved. Because the man told me that he witnessed many people giving testimonies. So by the reason of this information, I summon my courage to be here today. And by the special grace of God, I so much appreciate what God has done in my life. I've been suffering from demonic possession for quite some time now. Even though I pray, at times I do pray and I cast those demons out. But before you know, I will come back. I tried several times. Before, before, you, before I know, they will come back. I cast them out before I know they will come back. And as a result of this, they, they keep, uh, well, due, to, due to my sickness, my power caused by, by sugar, caused by fearless. That's why I really want to point this out. Fearless is very harmful once you avoid it. So, 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 so now they focus, they, they, these demons that possess me focus on making sure this sickness, this my sickness or pile never go, never leave me. So even though I take medicine, medicine. Hey, all right, we have this very striking testimony coming in from Calabar right now. We just cannot afford to miss this one. It is a wonderful thing that God has done. Calabar, coming on your screen now. Praise Master Jesus. Um, I'm speechless, but I have to start somewhere. A long story has a way you can start. Firstly, my name is um, Nelson Rosemary Noma from Manantika District, Calabar Region, Cross River State. I want to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Firstly, thank God for the salvation of my soul and how he has been helping me thus far, not minding the up and downs. I say may his name be praised in Jesus' name. I want to thank the Lord specially for what he did in my life from the beginning of this program. Going for this program, I went hopelessly. I, I was not expecting anything from God, honestly, because I've equally been praying for a reason, but God hasn't answered. I felt he has left me. It all started when I lost my father as a little child a long time ago. It affected me so much that I became depressed, emotionally downcast. I had no hope that I would ever amount to anything. Each time, everything I see around me is downfall, inferiority complex. I lost my confidence as a human being. 
I do everything just to make sure I get love from people outside. To the extent that I sacrifice my Christian faith just to make sure I get love from other people. But from the beginning of this program, the first day, which was Thursday, I went there like a slugly sheep going to the slaughter. That was how I went there. But not knowing that God had a plan for me. My brethren, if you've not faced depression, you won't understand what I mean. I go to bed crying. I wake up in tears. Each day I soak my pillow with tears. My uncle would never know what is wrong with me. Once everybody noticed, I try to hide the tears so that they will at least, the little love they are giving to me, they will not take it away. I continue doing this just to make sure that I keep people in touch, just to see that that little love I get. My mother is there, but I wasn't that close to her. I was much close to my father. His death really done on me as a growing girl. I grow so lonely. I don't have anyone to share my problems with. But God was so faithful. On that Thursday, that wonderful Thursday, the beginning of this program, the Lord affected my life. He touched me in a way that me, myself, I'm surprised. I said I will share this testimony by the end of the program, but a push was on me on Sunday. He said, go and share this testimony. I was scared initially. I was like, I don't know if they, once I share this testimony, the devil may take this joy away from me. But there was a push, share the testimony. God really touched me. He affected my life. He removed depression from me. God gave me self-confidence. He gave me a reason to live again. He showed me that definitely that upstairs I've seen that I can be able to go there, that the sky is just my starting point and not just my limit alone. The Lord showed me that his love is ever there for me. And I want to thank him. I say may his name be praised. And I want to say God, him that has been using Pastor W.F. Kumuye for us, that he will continue to use him. I pray for more ocean to function. I pray for more grace upon him. I pray that the anointing of the Lord will not dry off his head, but it will continue to renew in the name of Jesus. And I pray that this GCK, Lord, you will continue to use it to affect men. You will continue to bring man to yourself. I say may his name be praised because the joy in my heart here is too much. Even my neighbors are noticing it. They were like, Rose, you no longer come out to sit with us to talk. I have to it is a joy of triumphant power. We return to the moderating pastor. Jam your hand together for Jesus. Your joy we know no limit. Orchestra. On this note, we'll reserve the remaining testimony to tomorrow 